Today I'm going to show you how to remove a green screen and replace it with anything you want. Okay, so I've got After Effects open. What I do is I drag my footage of my green screen into the side here and then drag that footage onto this button to open it up into a new composition. I've got a video of a sad looking girl that I found on Invadza Elements. This is actually a good example because it's got a bit of shadows in the background. So it's not a perfectly clean green screen, which is great. And I can show you how we can sort that out a bit later. But the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna create a mask around your subject. This is gonna help you get a more accurate key in the end. So we do that by going up to the pen tool up here or hitting G on your keyboard. And with your video selected, hit the pen tool and then just draw a mask like that and make sure that your subject doesn't move outside of that mask. So I'll scrub through, make sure that she is inside of it at all times and that's perfect. So I'm happy with that. Now all you have to do is click your video, go to the effects and presets on the side here and search for an effect called key light. You can either use the key light effect, which um, After Effects has always had, or there's a new one called key light plus key cleaner plus advanced spill suppressor. This one's actually great because it's almost like three in one and it's uh, everything that you need all in one in order to do a perfect key. And let's just drag that on and pull this back so we can see what's happening. On the left here, you can see this is now the effect. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the bottom two, but leave the top one on just to go through the steps so we understand what's happening. So we start at the top, key light, first setting, go to the screen color option over here and click this little eyedropper tool. You'll click on it and you'll find just a general green color. This is what I mean if you have shadows, some parts of it will be light and dark. You wanna find a green in the middle close to your subject. So I'm gonna go for it right there. That's done a pretty good job. And it has keyed out most of the green. If I zoom in on the subject, you can see there is still some green around her, but we will sort that out soon. All right, the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this view drop down and you're gonna go screen matte. We wanna make sure that we don't have any transparent sections. Sometimes your background, you might see a bit of gray. Uh, because I've mastered out, you're probably not gonna see it. Let me see what happens if I turn this mask off just to show you. On the left and the right, there, there is a bit of gray over here and over here. That's because of the shadows that have been cast on the green screen. But because I've created a mask, I've actually, there you can see the difference between the two. I've sorted that all out already. But what I'm gonna do for the sake of this tutorial and show you how it works, I'm gonna delete the mask. And you can see that the gray appears on the left and the right again. So what we need to do is we need to make sure our background is completely black and our subject is completely white in order for this to look good. Any gray in the middle on the black or the white is basically showing you that there's transparency happening. So you wanna get rid of that. So click on the screen mat dropdown and we wanna start off by clipping our blacks. So if I drag this to the right, you can see those grays on the right, they disappear. But if I drag it too far, I start to spill over into my subject, which is not what I want. I just want my background to be black. So just about there is perfect. And now I can clip my whites. If I pull this to the left, if I drop down, you can see our subject, there were some parts in the middle there that are a bit gray. If I move it to the left, I just want it to be pure white. And that looks pretty good. So just play around with those until your subject is white, completely white in the middle, and the background is black. And that is it for the first section. And then we go down to the second section, key cleaner. I'm just first gonna change this from screen matte back to intermediate result. It's gonna show us our video and what it looks like. And then you come down to the key cleaner section. Let me zoom in. That is the green around her hair. And when I turn the key cleaner on, the second option over here, it just smooths it out and makes it a lot smoother. What you wanna do is put this down to about seven. Uh, you can play around with the settings. 10 is fine, but between seven and 10 is usually good. Make sure that reduced chatter is on and that one is good to go. That is your second setting that you change. And then the last setting that you change, this thing is just absolute magic in a box that you click. As you can see, there's green around um, the sad chicky and all you need to do now is click on this bottom section, advanced spill suppressor, and it works some serious sorcery. Just clears up all that green, which is amazing. And then all you need to do after that is add your background. So this girl's looking pretty sad, and the reason that she's sad is because her boyfriend has forced her to go watch Manchester United uh, play football. <laughs> We're gonna drag a picture of Old Trafford Stadium 
and we're gonna drag it underneath our subject. And there you go, your background is now in, your subject is keyed out, the green screen is removed, we put something in. And all you need to do now is just create a basic color grade in order to make sure that she, your subject matches the background. See, in this instance, I would probably add a little bit more green and blues to her, maybe just desaturate it a bit and make the colors work together. But I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial. You guys can do that yourself, but that is how you would remove a green screen in After Effects. Hey, if this helped you, if this was of value to you, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out some of our other vids. I really, really appreciate it. Cool. Thanks guys. Peace out.